What's going on, people? Before the episode starts, a quick reminder. Hey, Donny, I heard you're single nowadays. Must be lonely, innit? Chris, who's giving you false information? We got a date with the Premier League. Sunday, the 5th of May, at Bishop Stalford FC, SC Dons are taking on the Premier League All-Stars. Tickets are now available in the link in our description to this video, or also on Kitman Dukes' bio on Instagram. Jamie Ari, just letting everyone know, May 5th, I'll be playing for Charlie Dukes' team, playing against the SC Dons. We're gonna absolutely smash them to bits. Yes, people, Darren Brent here. May the 5th, I'll be playing for Charlie Dukes' team against the SE Dons. So May the 5th, make sure you come down and watch us absolutely smash the SE Dons. We're nothing but a Sunday league bunch of wrong -uns. And now we're playing against the Premier League All-Stars. Let's show them that this Dons community is massive and we'll show them about grassroots Sunday League football. Be there, Sunday the 5th of May. It is not a friendly. You said, Chris? You told me. You good? Cancun Dom as well, fam. <laughs> you, you was there man. recently. Yeah, man. You said, Hello, bro. Zeus as well, man. You good? You telling me? Not much, been, bro. How was it? I was wearing a league. That's a lot of pussy. So you, lot, you lot left us in the mud last week, man. Oh, man, you was there, man. Oh, bro, we got. Both of you was there, man. Yeah, but we had George outfield. So what, he was a problem. Yeah. <laughs> big, big G outfield is, is a big problem. <laughs> oh, look at that, man. We got Dick and Russ. They're asking you to come play five aside for me, bro. <laughs> That's what they say. I said that. Listen, I said that. <laughs> I have to question your decision. No. Oh, I blew out the pocket for answer. Yeah. That was fair enough. <laughs> you know what the player last week? It was yeah. the geezer with the left foot. Oh, Oz, Oz Peroni. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you can sign anyone? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Wait, it's true. Wait, the crook. Wait, yeah. He's more like Pep. I don't know what's going on here, but Donny Jones again. Bro. I've been trying to retire. They got Astros, Gaffer's, you know? Gaffer's yeah? called me up again, hasn't he? The Astros. Bro, but no, to be honest, Chris, uh, last minute pull outs again, bro. Three weeks in a row we've had this, innit? Yeah. So we had, Kurt, we had KO5 and Bradley in the team, and they're pulling out, what, a couple, an hour or so before the kickoff? KO5's unwell, and uh, Bradley is unwell as well, I think. So what can we do, bro? We've got five man. You saw what happened last week, we had no cameras. They sent the boys in five man up. You need a sub, so I'm going to be. I'm going to be available, man. Yeah, while, while um, RTJ is playing as he does, yeah. Donny Jones in the ocean with um, Crook Nadi. Insert clip, bro. You can play Donny Jones. I'm in between Mexico and Belize. So with sharks. But yeah, no, just to clear that up, actually. So before people, before people question why we didn't film last week, we was in Cancun, innit? And um, Adam was in Uganda. We couldn't get the game called off, so we sent the boys in. But we only had five men, we had no subs. But yeah, R2J beat us, bro. Credit to R2J, they saw us weak and they and they done the job. What's your score prediction for today? 8 nil dons. 8 nil dons, yeah? What about you? 16 nil. 16 or 6? 16 nil. 16. What about you? Tight game, but I'm going dons win. Clean sheet, Frank. Triple F. Triple F, yeah? 6 nil. 6 nil, yeah? Yeah. Clean sheet, where's triple F? Hair slip back. That's just a clean sheet haircut. Anything. Pierce is back as well, man. So, Loving that. Patrick, if you don't do a hat trick, it's underperforming. All right, because cool. the first few games you signed for us, that's what you were doing consistently. Yeah, I know, I know, but so you've set a bar standard that we expect now. Right, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah, Bedford Dons in the building. What's the score prediction for today? Oh, four nil Dons. Four nil Dons. Yeah. Four nil Dons. Yeah. Everyone of us said a clean sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna get a clean sheet today. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Left some form. He's always on form, man. That's it, man. That's he it. He never man. has an off day, does he? Get your iron side. He's got his. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. You got O's in the building. You keep that in, bro. You say it, bro. AKA J Love. What's going on, man? What's actually going on We're here? Back, man. Bare We're five. Back. Yeah, man. Nah, Donny, Donny's on the bench. Um, Donny's starting actually. I'm not panicking. Do you know anything about this team I'm playing? Nothing. Have you got anything? Nothing. We're here every week, man. There's a new team. I heard they're good, so it should be a good game. It should be a good game for the viewers. What you mean? But we lost. We lost last week just to round out. Obviously, we, we mentioned it in Cancun, but we lost to the RTJ. Um, I have to bounce back. We look like weirdos, I can't lie. We look like weirdos. Are you playing today? No. Why? Donny's in. Yeah, but why are you playing? I didn't really like You're like, you really are becoming that guy, fam. Are you looking for... 
<laughs> cool, let's call it for where it is. You want controversy? I'll tell you it straight. Brad pulled out of the game today, yeah. well, based, based on being sick. Well. Ko Five has said that he's ill as well. So, but why are you? That's back to back it? weeks. Yeah, it's nothing you? about me, bro. The manager no, no, makes no, no. a decision. We stick by it. Are we here to back the decision or not? Are you here to? What, asking, what do you want? If you're asking whether we're forcing ourselves to play, yeah. it's the complete opposite. Yeah. I'm not trying to play, bro. And you're questioning my attendance. Why you was on the beach last week? No, no, let's have it. I was right. working. Why you was on the beach Blogging. last week? Where was Blogging. that? Like? I was flipping working here. Not being filmed. There was four of us here. Not being filmed. Facts. But you know what? Let me ask you another question. Go on. Why would you come down to support when you're not chosen? There's players that usually you don't get chosen, not come down to support. Why would I'm, you do that? Because I support this football club, that's why I'm here. <laughs> support the club. And by the way, thank you to those who are actually getting money out of their pockets to come and buy the merch. Believe it or not, that is what pays the bills. You want to keep the lights on, keep buying your stuff. Anything for the Dons, longest nighty hats, they're out. Go get them. We'll see to our Portuguese viewers, Don Perez is mapped up, so um, we can translate everything that happens. <laughs> We got periods, it's man. gonna be me and Zeus talking. Man. Yeah, that's, that's all we need from. Before we start, welcome Zeus. I yes, know they say last week we've got. Yeah. It's coming in again today. Um, boys, listen. I don't know too much about the team, but I know they're lively, they're young, they're energetic. They're probably gonna be nippy. So I was saying, as a group, let's say as UTR, we stay compact, we stay as a unit. We don't really need to press them. On the ball, frustrate them. Take your time. Keep the ball as much as you can. If that means standing on it, stand on it. If they're pressing, they're pressing. For, they won't try and get the ball with you. Frustrate them. Go back to the corner. Play into Frankie, and then we're out. Yeah. yeah? We'll, we'll, we'll judge how the games go. If at the start, what I'll do, I'll start as pin to stretch them to open the game up, and I'll come short as well. Um, and boys, make sure we stick together. Have fun. Stick together. Stick as a team. And let's do a job on them. Once you go go up, we know what to do. Just be communicating out there. Do stay ready. I won't last long, bro. Hey, three, two, one, dog. Okay, then what's happening, people? Welcome back, finally, to another episode of Wicked Wednesday's Midweek Cage Five Aside Football. Firstly, here at the Dons, we're men of accountability, so accept our apology for not being so consistent for the past few Wednesdays. The reason being, number one, we was on holiday, and the other reason, there hasn't been games on a Sunday, meaning the midweek episodes got pushed onto a Sunday. However, the chaos is now over. And we are back to normal consistency every Wednesday, Wicked Wednesdays. A quick catch up, we won our first game of the season against UTR. And today's opponents are called Wormski. As you know, we're a bit light at the moment. No KO5, no Brad Tastic. Sometimes the old boys like Donny Jones and G have got to step in. Wormski, we don't know much about them, but we're hearing they're the new kids on the block. And this will be a tough, yeah. tough game. So we've got to try and get the three points. Chris, no more to do. Let's get into it. So the duel commences, 1 minute 21 seconds in. Fagan looks one forward to Oz, holds off his man. Good little bit of footwork here. It's gone down a bit light, the ref says. So play continues. Up, 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 up. Three minutes in, still the early sparring. Nothing much really happening at the moment. We see uh, Don Perez peel off, Chipola feeds him, clipped at the back. That's a penalty kick. Always a pen. One thing I say about Dominguez Pires, the DJ owes him his life. Ever since Dom started scoring for the Dons, the DJ's been getting booked all over the world. We've waited a long time to hear this one. Your DJ. DJ, put the vinyl away. So a big chance there for the Dons to take the lead. Dominguez Pires got the Dons punters wondering if he really is Portuguese. He's hit the bar there. It happens though. It is penalties. It's 50-50. Meanwhile, Wormski are on the breakaway now. A little man flicks away from Donny Jones too easily. Cuts it back. They strike the post. Warning shot. Donny gets there. We start again. Five in early change. On comes Zeus. Off goes Donny Jones. 6-0-4. Wormski starting to grow into the game now. They're young lads. They're going to be fitter and faster than us, but hopefully our experience will just keep them at bay. Uh, but they hit the post again. It's another warning shot. Seven minutes, 20 seconds on Bernard's watch. More from Wormski knocking it about at the back. They've got the majority of the possession. They're not doing loads of it, but they're definitely starting to cause problems. This guy shifts onto his right. That's another one against the post. We have to wake up now. I've said it many times and I'll say it again. One thing I love about SC Dons is we're a true family club. A lot of the boys actually sit at home and watch episodes with their girlfriends. I've got to big up my boy Fagan. His last wife dumped him. He wasn't sure if he'd ever find love again. But finally, he's got himself a lovely, wonderful girlfriend. And she does enjoy watching the Dons. 
I wish I didn't have to leave this bit in. So 12 on a duck and waffle, 1-0 to Wormski. I have to be 100% honest, they deserve it. They've been the better side, we haven't really created anything. A big opportunity here from Zeus. Good save from the keeper. I said that at the start of the episode, we're running light at the moment. We need people to help us out. We've got a big up Dom, he's brought his stepdad along. Zeus, friend of the Dons, he's been around for a minute, so it's good to see him in a shirt. But it looks like we're getting a bit frustrated at the moment. Dom bangs it off the board and it gives away a foul. 14 33. Still 1 0 to Wormski, but we've weathered the storm a little bit, growing into it a bit more. So I'm just here for the tackle. He's got a goal! 15 07. More from the Dons. Zeus collects it. Knocks it across to Oz 10 Hog. Just trying to stay patient, and that's what we have to do in moments like this. We can't get frustrated. It's a good effort, though, from range from Dom's stepdad, Zeus. It's a good save from the keeper. He's made a good few saves, actually. Fagan turns and shoots another save from the keeper. Oz does enough to get his body in the line, keeping it there. Uh, we've got five minutes left of the half. Got to try and get one back while we can. Bangs it off the board for Dom Perez. He's got Fagan to his right. Zeus out to the left. Fagan holds. Knocks one forward for Oz. Tries to get past his man. Eventually, the defender blocks it. And it's back in their possession. 17 in. The legend Steve strolls across. Notices we've got a few missing. But still reckons we can do the job. What do you think the final score will be? I, I, I would fancy... You, who have you got? You've got Dom, you've got Oz, you've got Fagan. I, I'd still fancy you used to win it, but it won't be, it won't be as easy as you think. 19.07, about a minute left of the half. If I'm honest, I want us to get to half time without conceding another one, regroup and rethink what the tactics are for this one. They're doing well, Wormski. They've got a different type of tactic. They kind of bang it long and run onto it. I like it. It's a good save, though, from Triple F. Half time whistle about to go. Dare I say we need it. 1 0 Wormski. Boys, I said at the start of the game, I said patience. Just be patient on the ball. I know they're pressing. Frankly, you can just run straight into me to front. They're pressing so high. When the ball's coming into me, boys, just run towards me. And please, just be patient on the ball. That's all it is. It's like we're just chasing that one to score in seconds. It's not going to work like that. Mm -hmm. We're much older than them and we're playing younger than them. We're playing into their game. We're trying to score in seconds. It's not going to work. Patience, boys. Just hold the ball. Take your time. If they're sitting up, just keep working it. I know the front's on. It doesn't have to go all the time. Just keep working it and it will open up. They'll, they'll, they'll fall asleep. One's going to get free. We're 1-0 down. We've got 20 minutes to change the game. How we react is down to us. Please, boys, just go back to basics. Go back to basics and keep the ball simple. If that means taking a touch and moving it quickly, move it quickly. You're playing, you're playing against a young, man, a young man team. Basically, they're quicker than you. They're not stronger than you, but you're playing into their hands. Unless you're going to create space for somebody to be on their left foot, i.e. someone does a movement so Oz gets people 1v1 to get on his left foot, same for you, you're not going to break them down. Because they're literally sat in and if, if they shift, they're quicker than all of you. Move the ball. And that's what I'm saying. If you're not going, if you're not going to find that perfect 1v1, don't lose your patience, which is what he's saying. The last thing I was going to say is they, they've all been watching you. They know your left foot, they know your left foot. On your first opportunity, go to your right. You have to stop making yourself so predictable because that's what they're doing. They block every shot. They know that you try and play it through legs. They know that you're quick on your legs. Don't switch up your game. What's even on sometimes here yeah, when you're backing off the, the back heel without being silly? Yeah, yeah. You've got to be smarter than them boys and, and, and don't get bored. Don't get bored. Keep going. Stay man. patient. One nil is the game's alive. Ready? Three, two, one, dance! League on the line. This Sunday is our final game in the SFL. We're playing against Highgate at Barking FC Stadium in East London, 10.30 a.m. kickoff. It's a must-win game. If we win this game, we go into the playoffs, which means the SFL title is within our palms. So if you're available this Sunday, 10.30 a.m. kickoff, come down to Barking and help the Dons get over the line. It's been a long time since we last played Highgate. We owe them one as well. So yeah, be there, 10.30 a.m. kickoff. We we'll hope to see you. Support the club! SCDons.com merchandise is stocked up. We ship worldwide, all sizes. Go and grab your SC Dons merch. Make sure you send in a picture of you wearing it. Feature yourself as Don of the Week. We've got the Ironside jerseys, Galacticos, Valhalla's, tracksuits, jackets, the whole shebang. So go and grab your stuff. And thank you to everybody that supports this club. Your support really keeps us going. Chris, get us back into it. So second half begins. Dom's stepdad tries to toe punt from 70 yards. Wolmski collect the ball. 
It's another awkward one for Fagan to watch with his missus. So four minutes in, it's been a slow start to the half, nothing much really created, but Wormski knock went out wide, the little man bangs it off the board, it comes close. 25 in, more from the Dons, Fagan picks out Don Pires, over to his stepdad, it's a family affair, weak foot shot from range, bangs it off the board, I just can't get there. More Dons now, pushing for that equaliser. If we can feel like something's coming, Oz shifts onto his left, picks out Fagan. Good strike, good save as well. 27, 26, Don Perez driving forward with his head down, not looking where he's going, runs into trouble. But he does well to recover, that's what I'm interested in, the recovery. Collects it, stepdad puts his elbow out. Good shot from range, but this keeper's a good keeper. It's cage football. Some of you just here for the nudges in the back. 28-30, more from Wormski now, shifts, he leaves Don Perez in Braga, but he gets back there, leaves one on him as well, he's kind of got away with that one to be fair, um, but that's that Portuguese stuff, passionate players, Zeus knocks it out to Oz, uh, gives it back to Zeus, takes a little touch, finds Fagan, he won't test the keeper from there. 10 to go, Fagan's pulled his glute, and on comes Donny Jones. 32 minutes on the clock, it's called dark arts, when you're playing against younger, fitter lads, sometimes you've got to use it. Chris does his job, goal don't count. Oh, let me not touch it, I'm no. trying to move. You can't jump out the way, can you? We know, we know the style of play. I keep seeing clips of diggers flashed in from Cancun. I know you're wondering where the vlogs are. Probably can't share them. Should have seen Aji D in Cancun. He had women all over him. Like Donny Jones, this centre forward. Okay. 34-10, 6 left to go, we need something, uh, Oz does well to collect it, comes to Donny Jones, lovely footwork, seen Phil fold and do it, brings it out to Oz onto his left, so another good save from the keeper. More Dons now, Zeus on the ball, uh, shoves it onto his left foot, strikes from range, that's the thing with fives, if you shoot from range you could always bang off a board, so there's method to the madness with them kind of things, I thought that's a foul on him, but it's being given to them. 36 on the clock, 4 left to go. Uh, I'll be honest, I think Wormski have been better than us today. But this is how fives goes. We're still in this game. It's only 1-0. It's another good save from Triple F. And that's my point. That's what good teams manage to do. We're not playing so well. They can nick something from a game. So this is what we're trying to do at the moment. Donny Jones collects at the back. Finds uh, Don Pires. He cuts one across for uh, Zeus. Tries a little back kill. The keeper read it. So about three and a half left to go. Still 1-0 to Wormski. Little man collects it out on the right-hand side. Donny Jones comes over. He does well, this guy, because he's grabbed my leg there and, and managed to shift himself around me. And he showed his youth. He showed my age. And that's 2-0 to them. So 2-0 to Wormski. And I'll be honest, that's a gut punch. We haven't got no one on the bench to come and help us at the moment. 2-0 down of two to go. It is a mountain to climb. Little man drives forward. It's another good save from Triple F. So last few minutes of the game now, still 2-0 to Wormski. This is looking like a certain defeat. Good save from Triple F. We've got to keep going to the whistle though. Can we get one back and then potentially nick another? The game is still alive. Dom gives the ball away though. They turn back. Bit of frustration kicking in there. And they managed to run down the clock a bit. So 40th minute now, stoppage time. And I pose a question, dare I say it? Are we rubbish? We were without KO5, we were without Brad, the squad is thin. Are we being exposed now? Are these young boys hungrier than us? 3-0 to them, that is the game in the bag. They're shouting out that we know who they are. We don't, but we obviously do now. 3-0 Wormski. So with the full-time whistle about to go, Wormski 3, Essie Dons 0. I don't think we've ever, ever had a game actually that we haven't scored in. Um, it's poor, it's bad at the moment, we know that. We can't keep getting away of using the old boys. Something's got to change. Stick with us, you've been with us dominating this. We have been doing it, completely dominating Bexley Heath goals and the five circuit, but yeah, it's a bad moment at the moment. So can we stick in, can we keep going? And can we bounce back with the Dons? We certainly will do so, but there's no complaints from me. Wumski deserved the victory. Uh, congratulations to them. 
All we can do is try and put things right next week. Reminder, essidons.com, go and grab your merch. We've got everything available and we ship worldwide. But most importantly, this Sunday, we need the Dons Army to come out in force. We're travelling to Barking FC in East London. We're taking on Highgate and it's a major three points. So if you're available for an early one, come and be there Sunday. So before we sign out, this is the current league table. Moving on to next game. Don's currently in third place, but it's a slow start. Two wins, two losses. It's poor. But if we can go the rest of the season without losing and winning them all, then we will uh, win the league again. So stay with us. Let's see if we can put things right. And I'll see you next week for more SC Dunn's action. Everything is possible when you believe and work hard. Nothing that's worth having comes easy. You're signing out. That's what we've created, boys. Young boys that want to beat us. And that's what they've done. That's how it goes, bro. Even people that weren't here. Fuck that, I don't even know that. Surprise, funny enough. It's a shit show. Last, last week, just about having enough players. This week, people putting out last minute and this is what's happened. We're not right, we're not right. And that's what happened. We ran out of ideas. Stay patient, didn't work. At the end of the day, again, a big moment in the game, we miss a penalty and then it catapults because we don't end up punishing after that. They should have beaten us by five or six. You've been like that for three weeks, George. Yeah. I've played twice, you've played I've once. Played, I've played twice. Last week you had five players. Boys, <laughs> we're being let down there. That's the truth. But we can't. We can't make excuses, but we're being let down. You think you can win a title like this? I hope so. Uh, bro, title race goes out the window like that. Where is it? I'll be real, yeah. I, I don't really care who's not come here. In, I come care in, about come who's in, here. Come here but one thing I'll say is, going into games, boys, like Donnie said, this is what we've created. And we're, we're putting ourselves out there, representing, going on a big stage, doing well, because that's what we're doing. And we're, we're known as one of the best teams in the country. And that's the reality of it. That's the reality of it. So when you put on that shirt, it, it means something. We just got smoked three 0 and, and look, look how they after the end of the game they're starting to saying they know about us, all that stuff. So when, when we go into a game, every game is a big game, and and the reality is we need to be better. That's the reality of it. Oh, on, the, on, on the ball and off the ball, we need to be better. Everyone, every single one of us, even me, I, I need to be better. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but as a team, as a collective. If we're not winning, we do not concede. And we all lost ourselves in that game. We went 1-0 down, we're pressing, we're pressing. We, we started getting tired because we're, we're, we're getting tired so much. When we get on the ball, we can't do anything because we're so tired. That's the reality of it. And then we had nothing going forward. What can we do in it? I'm sorry we lost today, but... Yeah, I'm not having no intervention in front of some young boys. Man. Huh? That's what I'm saying though. We're Hands in, boys. Hands in. But I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Let's go. Ready? Hands in. Three, two, one, done! They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything. They know, they know, they know, they know I'll do anything.